Make some noise, guys. Who in here is a butt man? Where are the ass guys at? Come on, guys, let me hear it, huh? Thank you, sir, for having guts. She takes a sip and rolls her eyes. Thank you for telling the truth. All the rest of you guys are liars. Butt cheeks are the best. Uh, I was obsessed with butt cheeks in high school, but I was a huge loser. Like I wore Quicksilver shirts and I had like a bowl cut and a cross necklace. It was a mess. <laughs> like I couldn't, talk, I couldn't talk to girls in high school. So what I did is I invented a move. And I'll share this with you, it's super embarrassing. I did this for all four years of high school. This is what I would do. If a hot girl was sitting in front of me, I'd put my foot up on her book tray and I'd lean forward so that my shin would be touching her butt cheek flap that was hanging off the back of the chair. And I would just, for the whole class, I would just shin butt flaps. Like that was my thing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I was just the guy who was shinning butt flaps. This guy loves it. You're gonna do it, by the way, I can tell. You, you already did it? Fine. But like I try to make it look like I'm not doing anything, like I'm just taking notes. Oh man, the Civil War is crazy, but I'm obviously violating her personal space. <laughs> Girls would lean forward because what I'm doing is disgusting. So I'd have to like really like get in there to like get that shit. Like, hey, Mr. Nagrotsky, what are you doing? The Scantron is crazy, you're killing us today. But I'm obviously, but you guys, true story. Every once in a while, a girl would lean back into my shin, and it's like, oh, this girl's nasty. Because <laughs> you know I mean? then you can go side to side, you can get the whole sphere in there, it'd be fantastic. I remember, it's a true story, one time this girl Sarah fell asleep like this at study hall, and I just went to town, Laugh Factory. I just went to town. You can say that I'm a sexual creep, I just say I'm beating the system, guys, okay? I'm just beating the system. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I could do a lot of stupid stuff like that as a kid. I get in trouble all the time. I used to fight all the time at recess, and I'm obviously a bitch, so I shouldn't have done that. that anybody in here fight? You guy in the army jacket? Did you ever fight at school? For sure, right? This? That means he's killed people before. <laughs> that means he murdered somebody today on the way over here, and he doesn't want me to talk about it. And I'm the next one who's going to get murdered, obviously. Uh, but I was thinking about all my fights at school, all my childhood fights, and I remember that kids fight differently than adults. Like, if I said something about your girl, you would just beat the crap out of me right now because we're men. But kids don't do that. Kids schedule the fight for later. <laughs> you guys remember doing that stuff? <laughs> it was always like, hey, Tim, you messed up, dude. I heard you told the whole class I liked Maria. Big mistake, bro. 4.30 at the bus stop. I'll see you there, dude. <laughs> and then you go and have all day of school together. This is a true story. I was supposed to fight Dave Ryan. We set it up for 4.30, okay? All day, everybody's like, oh shit, dude, 4.30, 4.30. Me and Dave get paired up together on a science project in class. <laughs> and we had to work together the whole period. I was like, I think number three is photosynthesis. He was like, are you sure, dude? I was like, yeah, it's definitely photosynthesis. He was like, wow, thanks, man. 4.30, bitch. 4.30. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>